<laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> Hello my beautiful, stunning, perfect family and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about 90 Day Fiance UK. We're starting with Charlotte. I'm Charlotte, I'm 34 and I'm from Southampton. God, I sound like I'm on blind date, don't I? After I got past my surprise about her age, I really like her. She's super sweet, she's funny, but my husband thinks she's got like this temper somewhere deep down inside of her. I'm very impulsive. If I like something, I'll get it. She tells us that she enjoyed being single, but once she hit 30, four years ago, she decided she needed to get serious. All of her friends were settling down and she was alone, except for her little kitty cats. She is head over heels in love with her Dominican boy toy, Johan. He is 21 years old. He is gorgeous. He's a little bit of a cheeky chap and oh my God, the eyes are to die for. I think that she is absolutely in love with him. I just question how much of it is based on his appearance because she brings it up a lot. Can someone find me down now, please? <laughs> so she was on vacation at a resort and Johan, an employee of the resort, offered his services to her. He just come over, can I get you a drink? Do you want some help with your sun cream? And I thought, surely that's not in his job description but it kind of is his job his job is to show the guests a good time whether it's dancing exercising bringing them drinks or towels and he admits that there are a lot of women and his entire income is dependent on the tips that he receives okay but not only that he is also responsible for housing and taking care of his mother and his other siblings he admits that he will flirt because it helps him to get good tips. <laughs> My job is like entertainment, you know, the girls, you know, they want to talk to me. They want to know if I'm married. So the plan is for him to come to England. She says that she's happy to support him. Oh, and by the way, if anyone's wondering, she does hair for a living. I know it sounds pretty crazy, but I've never been this in love with someone before and I'm gonna follow my heart. So she goes out, she meets up with her friends and they're all skeptical about him because he's from another country. But then they find out that he's 21. He's 21. What? 21. <laughs> Oh my God. She is well aware that it sounds bad, it looks bad, but she's like, you guys, he doesn't carry himself like a 20 year old. We feel so good and natural together. I love the guy, what, what else am I supposed to do? Everyone that she talks to about Johan tell her that the fact that he works in entertainment and his job is basically to flirt with all of the guests, that is a big red flag. It would be so easy for him to cheat and get away with it. She's a kind person and I don't want someone to take advantage of her kindness. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I really like this couple so far. My husband is convinced that he's using her for a green card. I think it's possible he could want a green card while also really loving her and wanting a relationship with her. Me familia, yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of girls, you know, they want to talk to me. They want to know if I'm married. I, I hope I'm not wrong. I really like her. Oh, also, Johan has some, oh, not Johan, Johan. I'm so sorry. When I see his name, I want to say Johan. Johan has some sort of a tick on his face. When you watch him, he, he like blinks really hard and he blinks often. I don't know if maybe that will come up later. I'm just observing. Charlotte's mom is convinced that this is a big scam. She doesn't sugarcoat her feelings, but Charlotte is in love and she's going back to the Dominican Republic to see her man. She's not spent enough time with Johanna to even think about having a baby. You know, a baby's just not for Christmas. Oh my gosh, I forgot that. <sighs> she's taking no precautions with Johan and it sounds like she would be happy to become pregnant. So, oh. Let's fast forward. She just landed down in the DC and she spots Johan and runs to him. He takes her back to the resort. Charlotte pays for the room. I wonder if she got an employee discount. He takes her up to the room. There are petals on the floor, on the bed. He's got pictures of them hung up all over the place. That's really sweet, that is. 
it looks so romantic. I've never had anyone do something like that before. Okay, if you guys are watching the show, what do you think of these two? Do you think that he loves her? I mean, when he looks at her, you know, he holds his gaze and he touches her. It's totally different than the vibe that we got from like Kimbali and Usman. But nothing worked out and ultimately we just had to break up. We're actively trying to have a baby. No, yeah. God. We have Dominican gasoline no, in run. No, we take no, you tonight. No. Don't worry. Oh my gosh, this is throwing a wrench into the relationship for me. I want to say what's the rush, but I know what the rush is. She's already said she feels like she's getting old. Ugh, I'm just, I'm thinking about the conditions that his family lives in. It, she had to replace their roof for them and it's still a ghetto leaking roof. I've just got here and Johan's already back at work and I'm going to be on my own quite a lot. Obviously, I understand that she wants to see him, she misses him, but she knows that he works a lot. She knew that before coming, and his entire family relies upon his income. So, she heads to the bar for a drink. And uh, they oh, English lady love the energy. We do. He's nice. Yeah, he works, you know, long hours. She ends up asking the dude if it's normal or expected for him to be flirting with the guests for tips. Talk to them, like, flirt. Yes, of course. Look at, do you think so? Yeah, because he's working animation team. When he says animation team, that's basically like the group of people who are hired to entertain and keep all of the guests happy. We met when he was at work and I worry that maybe the same thing could happen again. So in the back of her mind, she's freaking out. But as far as we can tell, he hasn't really done anything wrong yet. He takes her to his home and they sit down and visit with his mom. His mom really loves and appreciates Charlotte because Charlotte gave them enough money to replace her roof as well as being able to buy medication. She helped my family with the money and she can help more. Oh, Johan, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. You're making it hard. Is there anything else that your mom needs? Bueno, mi hijo, ahora mismo. No, di la verdad, no, que mentira. No, ahora mismo yo necesito arreglar esto. Un familia que no sirve esta baña. Okay, Charlotte, you're asking, you're offering, and like Johan just said, be honest. And if I was Charlotte and I was considering this family as my own family too, absolutely I would want to help them, especially because they have toddlers to take care of. Hey, sir, if she loved me, she have to love my mom. She need to help my family. Everything they're bringing up are like necessities, a roof that doesn't leak, a stove that can turn on, medicine so I don't die. And look at this little angel sleeping on her. These two just, they look so relaxed and natural together. Oh, I'm, I'm simping over these two, I know. We, I know. we will always remember that we will look after the family. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so torn. Johan, you better be good to her. Charlotte offers to start sending the money every month. Very, very special. If she loves me, she has to love my mom. She needs to help my family. Okay, it was her decision, but the mom comes across as extremely humble and thankful. It's not this attitude of entitlement like uh, that we saw with Patrick's dad, for example. For us to start our future together, we need to get married as soon as possible, really. So Charlotte appears to be at the same resort and she's with a wedding planner who was walking her through what the event would look like. Johan is of course working, so he's not there. It would be lovely for all my family and friends to come over and see me and Johan get married, but that will turn into a big wedding and I can't afford that. It sounds like Johan wants to have a lot of people in the wedding. I guess we're gonna find out. Moving on, meet Jamie. I'm Jamie, I'm 33 years old and I live in North London. He is 33. I started seeing comments on Reddit about aging in London years. I've never been aware of a stereotype that English people look older. Even my husband was like, well, they're English. And I was like, what? Uh, 
when did this trend start? I've never heard of this. I live with my parents. Oh, my mum, she's the typical stereotype of a Jewish mother. This is the middle of a game. Do you want a drink? Do you want a drink? Do you want something to eat? Do you want something to eat? But guess what? Jamie loves it. She cooks for him. She still does his laundry. But a responsibility of a kid. And I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, his laugh. It, it's like he's competing against Gino for the most unsexy man alive. I can tell you everything, like... Very open-minded. Even the naughty stuff sometimes. <laughs> Stop laughing. You are not allowed to be happy. I had a boyfriend that the moment he had a question or he needed help with something, he would immediately call his mom. And that was such a turn off for me. I have no problem asking for help and I think it's great to reach out and ask other people for their advice and you know but try try to do it by yourself first don't just call your mom his dependence on his mom was a huge turn off for me i don't know if anyone could com like compare against you oh because you're you're on your own level oh, it's lovely i love you're you amazing thank you I, i'm trying not to hit on this guy because my boo thinks he's just like a really quirky weird dude Oh, I think I just got the ick from him. He tells us that all of his relationships have been long distance. I don't know why, I just can't seem to find a girl in the UK. He's dated Thai girls, Vietnamese girls, but in the end, they were all just using him for money. I seem to always meet the wrong type of girls. But Kathleen, she's different. Meet Kathleen, everyone, who happens to look different in every single picture. Like mahogany. I mean, it's to the point where she looks like different nationalities in all of her pictures. I had to keep asking my husband to remind me that she's Filipino because I couldn't tell. Hello, love. How are you? I miss you so much. <laughs> You're looking beautiful. Maganda, as always. Thank you. She never says, I love you back, never says, I miss you, never says, you look good or you look cute. It's completely one-sided. Can't wait to see you as soon, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, love. Have a good day. Take care. But later on, guess what we learn? We learn that Jamie slept with one of her friends. But okay, here's the thing. Him and Kathleen were broken up when he hooked up with the friend. But because he had like some basic conversation with this girl prior to them breaking up, Kathleen considers him a cheater. I don't think he did cheat because they were separated, but it doesn't change the fact that her feelings are now very hurt. I didn't do nothing with her friend until I separated from Kathleen. In Kathleen's eyes, she counted it as cheating. Jamie tells us that his mom can be very negative towards his relationships and even jealous. And yes, this woman looks absolutely anorexic. Okay, I know. So I've got two women fighting over me. But I like it in a way. <laughs> I enjoy it. No, no, ugh, gross. Well, he starts telling us that his mom has been actively telling him since the beginning not to send these women any money. Then she saw his bank statement lying on his bed, probably because she was making his bed for him. And my mom looked at it and saw a Western Union money sent. She confronted me about it. Why are you sending money to Kathleen? So mom has been all up in his crow, making sure that he hasn't been sending any money to Kathleen because she's convinced this girl is just scamming him. Jamie was sending money to Kathleen. I felt sick. Why does she need this money? She can earn her own. <sighs> I mean, she's not wrong. She's just way, way too involved. So this dude is a meter maid. I have no idea what kind of money he makes. I've never even been to England. If there's any overtime, I'm the first one to put my hand up. Yeah, I'll do it. Please get me to do it. Oh my gosh, I just realized his voice. It makes me think of um, Moss from the IT crowd. That show is so old, but it is so good. It is so funny.
My friends and family have got their concerns about Kathleen, especially Richard. So this handsome fellow doesn't sugarcoat anything. He's like, dude, this relationship is no different than your past relationships. These are long distance girls who just want you to send them money. I know you can't be single for long, but like you shouldn't drink poison just because you're thirsty. You, you haven't met her yet, so you can't judge her. I don't think I do. Oh my gosh, this guy is ruthless, but kudos to him for telling his friend what he didn't want to hear. That's hard. I mean, she's not after my money, Rich. How often is it not about the money when, she, when you've argued with her? So Jamie starts telling him what their interactions are like, that she always wants him to like buy her dresses or other goodies and his friend is like yeah it's about money i need you rich just to support me and be on my side i'm thinking of proposing to her jamie lands down in cyprus he's so excited to see his girl but she has to work so jamie calls his mother because he misses her so much how was your flight yeah my flight was good yeah it was uh bit turbulent. I've got everything, my sun cream. So we learn that Jamie's mother packs his suitcase for him. And on this particular trip, she didn't pack him any condoms. She's done that before. Kathleen was helping me unpack my suitcase and I, she opened it and there was a big box of 24 condoms. <sighs> that is so disgusting. You are relying on your mother to pack your birth control? What is wrong with you, dude? So he unpacks, actually, probably not. He's gonna wait for Kathleen to do it, but she's off work now, so he's on his way to pick her up. Oh my God, I think we're 30 seconds away. We're pulling up. Yes. He is so excited, he can't wait to see her, but when he gets out of the car, she's just standing there. She's not happy to see him. I don't understand. Why is she not walking towards me? What? Kathleen is still super upset that he hooked up with her friend. She's barely saying anything. She doesn't want to touch him. She tells him that he needs to go to the car and pull it up to where she is standing. Otherwise, she's not going to get in the car. Okay, all she had to do was cross the street. What is this? I'm feeling a little bit upset by this, but I'm hoping giving her a few cocktails will make her feel a bit better and relax her a little bit. Well, that's great. We will get into the other couples on another episode. There are currently four episodes out right now at the time of this recording, so I need to get a little bit caught up. Um, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. Bye. <laughs> And it rains Grew up in the thick of a curve Follow the sun and the spirit you heard They be wishing me the best out loud In their heart they be wishing the worst I put my God first Look at the fruits, forget what you heard Actions behind my words, a verb She's a superior Satan, I get on his nerves Yeah, too many flows, my son is